whistle bowling from Waka Yunus. Bowling. Waka back. Great bowling by Waka Yunus. Short ball, quick ball, might be out, is it? Oh, here he goes. Pakistan are celebrating. all over for him straight away a superb Yorker swinging into Trescothic from Wakar. I've never had any coaching or anybody taught me anybody told me that do this and do that and uh, nobody has ever taught me that and it's just so natural and it just came to me and I'm probably lucky enough. Pakistan's good fortune was terrible luck for batsmen the world over as Wakar Yunis unleashed his pioneering approach to reverse swing. Others may have swung it more but no one swung it faster or with such destructive intent and deadly accuracy. I think the best exponent of reverse swing I've seen and the most dangerous, most lethal, would be Waka Yunus. I think at the death. And he's probably the, the guy that everyone tended to, to sit up and take notice of and, and, and really realise that this is such a huge weapon. You don't really see many many bowlers who can bowl with my sort of action with slingy action and uh, bowl, uh, bowl the ball and sort of, sort of swings very late and I was uh, once again lucky enough to have that sort of action. I started doing it in my, in my, in my school and college, that's where I learnt it but I, I didn't know when I, when, I, when I walk into the Pakistan team there will be Imran Khan, Wasim Akram, they'll be already master of that and uh, I was lucky that okay I know something and they, they, they are good in it and then, and then I learned and I picked it up from them and uh, how to ball it. I was knew how to ball it, but where to ball it is a different story. And that's what uh, I've learned from Imran and Wasim. He was naturally gifted. Pace, brilliant action, and good line and control. Naturally, he's got the action like slingy action. He had that slingy action, which is his go round arm, and he used to ball with the stump, very close to the stump, and he used to aim on fifth to sixth stump, and outside the off stump, and ball used to end up in the leg stump. Just amazing the idea, just amazing the idea of reverse swing. First, I have to run in and I have to feel good. You know, I, when I'm feeling good in my running, because I know people talk, say that, oh, I had a long run up, I should have cut it down. You know, I would have been, I would have played maybe another year or two. No, I, 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 don't, I don't agree with that because my run-up was my bowling basically. When I used to get into a groove, when I used to get into the rhythm, rhythm that's where I was good at. And uh, I used to aim, when I used to swing it in, you used to aim maybe six inches outside the off stump because I knew exactly how much the ball is going to swing and that's where I, uh, where I used to aim. I asked him lots of times, I said, we, what, we, we used to call him Wiki. I said, Wiki, tell me one thing, why did you have to aim for fifth or sixth stump? He said, look, the amount of reverse swing I'll get, the amount of late swing you can get, as long as you can throw the ball outside the off stump, very wide. I said, well, but why? He said, because the ball reverse swing means is the ball get very late swing. That's why people are going to get deceived. Not with the pace, they're going to deceive with my um, late swing. And I said, amazingly, so why do you have to aim fifth and sixth stump then? He said, because then I'll get more control on my line length. I don't want to waste my energy to going ball should go down the leg every time. If I ball five Yorkers, six Yorkers, I make sure all of them, they finish in the stump. Wacko Yunus's record of getting five wickets is phenomenal because when the ball reverse swings, if you're in, you've got a chance of surviving. If suddenly, uh, you lose a wicket and a new batsman comes in and it starts reverse swinging, darting in late at the pace they bowled, 90 mile an hour remember, then it's very difficult and that's the reason they picked up fivers a lot. You can be effective with, with the normal high arm action but if to be more effective to get more wickets I think you need more slingy and side on action. If you look at my footage, uh, go back into 92 or 96 or 94 you'll see that I was, at the, in, my, in my later a, later career, I was coming very close to the wicket and trying to swing that ball, which I don't think uh, any of these uh, cricketers understand what I mean. 
Uh, you come close to the wicket, you always deceive a batsman. And that's where Simon Jones is good and Darren Goff was good. Darren Goff really comes close to the wicket. The art, absolutely art. I can throw that ball, same ball, which is Wakar reverse swinging, to any bowler in the ta on that time. Nobody used to bowl reverse swing like him. Why? That is the art. He spent, he spent, and he spent time on that ball. And that's why, you know, like he was great on that. Once I asked Wakar Yunus, please give me a an old ball and, and tell me how it is done and it was impossible really to reverse it I mean you know it had to be a, a slinging action a, at certain pace line and direction I mean you've had you've got to have it all it doesn't mean that you have to scratch the ball you have to look after the ball keep it clean keep it dry which I still don't think uh, some of the guys does it and uh, that's why they probably struggle to reverse it uh, probably more what we, we used to do. Honestly, um, he used to look after the ball a lot in, in a sense of uh, throwing a ball on a rough side, you know, like of mud on a wicket where the ball can get drier quickly. And he never actually, he used to tell his teammates, got to look after the dry side. That's all I know. You don't want some player, some bowler like Saklan Mushtar came into Pakistan side. He used to go. We stopped him. I said, if you do this again, we'll kill you, <laughs> me and Vakar. <laughs> because he used to, uh, you know, the both sides used to get soft. We needed, we needed one side rough. So these little details, uh, you, the team has to be passed on. You know, and they should know. One bounce throw, if it's a dry, if it's a rough wicket. Not on a grassy, grassy square wicket. If it's a rough wicket, brown wicket, yeah, one bounce throw will work there. It can work there. We used to keep it dry. If you take the footage and, and have a look at the way we used to hold the ball, we never used to put our palm on the ball. We used to keep it, keep our fingers crossed and just you know, shine it like this rather than rather than put it in your hand because your sweaty hands can make it wet and it doesn't really swing once it's once it's wet. What they were capable of doing with uh, with a roughed up ball was a talent and a skill. Um, and I say it was amazing to watch them. Imran had recommended him to, to Ian Gregg, who was captain of Surrey at the time. He came down bold in the nets, and inside the first five minutes you could tell um, that this bloke had pace. He then went up to Old Trafford for a Benson Hedges possible quarter-final against Lancashire. Uh, bowled some quick deliveries, but was a little bit erratic. Um, but after, after that, he settled in, um, as I say, was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I know, uh, uh, I know everybody, every cricketer you ask, they say it's a bit too much, you know, you know, it's, it's, for a youngster I think it's a great learning curve and this is exactly what happened with me. Uh, I went there and very raw, very young, wanted to do well, wanted to just play, 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 as simple as this and this is exactly what county cricket gives you. He was very fast um, and after spending I think a year with Surrey, he became a different bowler altogether. He picked up 90 odd wickets in that season, I remember. Uh, and he impressed everyone when he, uh, when he came on board to play international cricket. Reverse swing, lethal Yorkers, um, and there was more about Bakar Yunus, probably because he was a genuine fast bowler. Vaseem Akram you could categorize as an all-rounder. Uh, and by that time, Vaseem had lost a bit of pace, not his nip, but uh, you know, if you were comparing him to, with Bakar, Bakar was clearly more pacey than uh, Vaseem Akram. 